welcome back from now on we are going to create our very weighted whatsapp app so this is this is the first video of uh, our whatsapp series so in this video we will learn about firebase authentication and uh, we will authenticate the user using its phone number as uh, the whatsapp does so for that first of all you need to go to google and just search for firebase uh, phone number phone authentication and just take the first link it will take you the, to the documentation of uh, this firebase so first of all you need to add this library so i'm going to just copy this and paste it in here and the next thing you need to do is is to add the firebase to your project for that just create a project at console.firebase.google.com and i have already shown you how you can create a new project so i have already created the project so i'm going to use that for this so i have already connected to this uh, project as you can see it's com.shehutech.whatsapp so if i show you the package name of this project com.shehutech.whatsapp so if you don't know how to connect to firebase you can use the previous video uh, in which i've shown you how you can connect to the firebase and read and write in firebase so in this project uh, i've already connected to the firebase so now we need to add another library called firebase core com.google.firebase colon firebase core and its version is going to be let's say 16.2.1 the same one that we have uh, in our firebase auth and just sync the project uh, these two variants could be different uh, depending upon uh, the update the firebase team does gradle sync is running and it will download and add these libraries to our project sync finished and there is an error and what's that that 16.2.1 doesn't exist uh let me check this actually it's 16.0.8 it's 16.0.8 so i'm going to copy this one and just paste it in and you already know how to add this uh, to your project firebase to your project this is actually uh, for adding firebase to my project uh, this has nothing to do with authentication you need to only add this library for authentication firebase auth all right so this is going to be synced okay so build is completed now we are ready to go so first of all i'm going to my activity underscore main layout so uh, as you might have know uh, that uh, whenever you go to whatsapp and you create a new account uh, you need to provide the phone number and that uh, against that phone number it sends you an sms to your phone number and then you can verify your phone number so for that i'm going to have an edit text here uh, in which user will input the phone number so i'm going to make it match parent all right so let me 
just go to design and what's there okay so here is edit text I'm just going to center it and then next to it I'm going to drop a button that will be so I'm going to just name it verify perfect so whenever this number is inputted here and this button is pressed then we need to uh, send an sms to the user so i'm going to just rename it to send sms okay so when this is pressed it will send an sms and it should move on to the next window uh, where there will be where there will be uh, a, a you can input your uh, code that you have received on your phone number so I'm going to create another I'm going to create another input for that so just go and grab another edit text for that let's append it in between these two and I'm going to add another button uh, that will be to uh, that will validate that particular code entered by the user And by the way, I have updated my Android Studio, and you might have uh, seen some changes in uh, uh, in the layout of it. So I've updated my Android Studio, and I'm using now Android 3.4. So you can also go, you can also update your ID by going to just settings, and uh, you can check here for updates in. just search for updates just ser search for updates and you can hit from here check now to check for auto uh, updates and if you have selected automatically check for updates then it will notify you when uh, there is an update available and uh, you can see that here current version I'm using Android 3.4 so so now I have created a button and I'm going to change its text to verify and let's make its width to, to match constraint alright so this is let me give a hint here hint and hint is going to be code verification code and just going to center it gravity has changed its layout so it's causing some issues to use at first time so let's keep it, it, it as it is and I'm going to just go to text and its text is sent to 
set to name so that's why it was causing that issue and uh, now if I select this edit text and going to give it also a hint for phone number hint phone number with country code perfect so now our layout is complete and we need to give some IDs to these things so I'm going to just give it an ID of edit text verification code and and this one I'm going to give it an idea of edit text phone and on these two buttons I'm going to uh, create functions that will handle on click event this is actually for verifier so its function is going to be verify code for example and uh, as you can see that I have an error because I haven't created one so I'm going to hit here alt press enter and just selecting the second one from here and it has automatically created a function for us same I'm going to do in the other button and I'm going to have an on click event here and this is going to be send SMS so let me create this function too. just alt and try and select the second option so we have created our functions now let me just link our objects with the edit text edit text first one is going to be phone number the second one is going to be verification code so phone number is equal to find view by id or dot id dot phone number as uh, edit text phone verification code is equal to find view by id or dot id dot verify verification code so here we go so we have successfully set up this one so now we need to do is whenever he presses the send sms button we need to grab uh, what he has entered in the phone number field so for that i'm going to make another variable slash string phone is equal to phone number dot get text dot to string and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide these two views uh, first of all these should not be visible and whenever the send button is pressed then these two views should be visible and these two uh, should be invisible so for that I'm going to go to select this one and you need to search for an attribute called visibility here is that one so you can select from here no you can you have to select it visibility gone same you can do with your button visibility gone but for this I have to give an ID to button to make it again visible so I'm going to give uh, it an ID for example btn btn verify and this one I'm going to give an ID btn send SMS perfect so here I can do is I can just create two buttons send sms and the other one is very it's actually for let me check
verify so it's btn verify so what i need to do is i need to connect them send sms is equal to find view by idr dot id dot btn send sms btn verify perfect so i'm going to make them invisible at first so i have done this here so now whenever this send button is pressed we need to make them again visible for that i'm going to do is send sms dot set visibility and you need to select here visible just uh, type in caps visible and you will see the uh, recommendation and you need to select the first one here view dot visible it's actually so and we need to make the verification code also visible and we need to hide the current views that are the phone uh, btn verify and add the text to get the phone number so we need to make the visibility gone the other one is verification code so dot set visibility perfect so that's it for this video in the next videos we will learn how to further uh, authenticate we haven't completed the authentication process yet so see you in the next video